Hello and welcome to today's class. A special welcome if you are new here. I'm Hannah Ray, the instructor and content creator of this channel. Today's class is very special and so before I head out back to record by the stream, I just want to take a few moments to tell you about today's class. This class is partnered with the Yoga Stops You Lin campaign, which is a global campaign aimed at raising awareness and funds for the victims and rescuers of the dog and cat meat trade. This campaign takes place during the same week as the Yulin Dog and Cat Meat Festival in Asia, which is one of the major festivals where dogs and cats are brutally slaughtered for their meats. Each year, approximately 30 million dogs and 10 million cats are brutally slaughtered and tortured for their meats, furs, and skins. And many of these pets are oftentimes stolen family pets. And so I know many people love their furry loved ones as much as I do. And so if this cause resonates with you, I would encourage you to head to their website, yogastatsyulin.com to learn more about their cause. On the website, you have the option of making donations, finding out how you can adopt, sponsor, foster some of the surviving victims of these festivals. And any donations made, will be going to those on the beneficiary page, the 2023 beneficiary page on our website. So you can even see exactly who these funds will be going to. Additionally, 50% of any class donations made uh, to my classes in the links below in the description will also be given directly to this cause as well. So I'd urge you to please consider checking out the website, checking out what this cause is all about. And if it resonates with you, please consider getting involved somehow. Without further ado, let's head in to today's class. So grab a mat, I'll head outside, and let's get started. Hello and welcome to today's yin yoga therapy practice. Thank you so much for choosing to join me. Let's get started today at the back of our mat in a single leg caterpillar or seated forward fold. Begin by simply starting with the right leg extended ahead of you and bring the sole of the left foot in toward that right inner thigh. Then take an inhale through the nose, drawing that breath into the low belly space as you lengthen through the spine. And as you exhale, begin to first fold from the hips, maintaining that flat back, before then allowing the rest of the upper body to melt forward, forehead reaching towards the mat, maybe keeping the flat back if you have any low back pain here. Always be sure to listen to your body. So wherever you're at right now, feel free to take some micro adjustments, moving ever so slightly, just to find how this pose best serves your body. And then settle into the stillness, coming back to the breath, breathing through any discomfort, and being aware of what's happening for you right now. Where you're at is exactly where you need to be. So meet yourself here with grace and compassion never forcing anything, but allowing your body to do the work at its own pace. We only have about one minute left in this pose before we take a different variation. So I'll leave you here to go inward, maybe set any intentions you have for your practice today and enjoy this silence. Wonderful job. When you're ready, gently roll the spine back up one vertebrae at a time. And we're now going to go into our next pose on this side, which is our single leg shoelace. So simply bring that left knee up over the right. That foot is in towards your hip. Take an inhale as you lengthen through the spine once more. 
As you exhale, begin to fold from the hips, keeping that flat back. And if it feels okay, then allowing the rest of the upper body to melt forward, forehead reaching towards the knee, resting passively here, allowing the body to be heavy. And once again, if you are staying sitting up today and maybe just leaning forward a little with that flat back is enough of a sensation for you, then that's totally fine. Stay where you're at, stay with the pace of your body. If you are finding it difficult to even sit tall through that lumbar spine, then you may want to try sitting on the edge of a pillow or cushion. This allows the pelvis to have a little bit of a tip so that you can lean into this a bit easier with better posture. Inhale deeply into that low belly space and exhale fully and slowly, surrendering a little deeper into this pose, allowing the body to be a little heavier. We are holding each of our poses today for an extended period of time in order to go deep into those layers of fascia and connective tissue that run throughout everything in our body. So your job today is to simply stay present, keep coming to that breath anytime you notice the mind has wandered. Finding your edge, that place where you're feeling an effective stretch happening without any pain. And staying there in stillness. Listening to the wisdom of the body finding a mindful awareness in this practice. Take an inhale, filling that low belly space once again. As you exhale, begin to roll the spine back up one vertebrae at a time. We are now going to go into our full shoelace by just bringing in that bottom leg so the heel is by the hip. You can also start on the knees and sit back into this position. But if that single leg shoelace was intense enough for you as it was, then go ahead and stay there for another couple minutes. Wherever you're at, once again, let's inhale as we lengthen through the spine. As you exhale, begin to walk the hands forward bending from the hips, and then allowing the forehead, the chest to reach toward the legs. Noticing the sensation of this deep opening through the hips here. Breathe deeply into any areas of tension or discomfort. As you exhale, let it go, surrender here. You always have the option of resting forward onto a bolster or a pillow as well if you want to lean forward, but allowing the whole body to hang is a little too intense. Take any of those micro adjustments you need once again, playing around with the positioning here slightly, listening to your body, and then settling into the stillness. Inhale deeply, drawing that breath into the dantian, pulling the oxygen into the hip sockets or any areas holding on still. As you exhale, see if you can let go a little more, maybe finding a deeper edge. Anytime you notice the mind has begun to wander, simply take note of what themes or patterns are coming up in your mind. Be the observer and the watcher of your thoughts. And without engaging in the thoughts or any emotional attachments to them, see if you can shift your focus back into the breath. Simply observing, breathing through the discomfort, whether it's physical or emotional or mental. This is the part of our practice. We're learning to simply notice our thoughts, notice how we want to react, but breathing through while we stay in the stillness, we are increasing our threshold for distress tolerance, learning to deal with uncomfortable situations. All right, when you're ready, go ahead and gently roll the spine back up once again. 
untwist the legs, taking your time, allowing that fascia to come back slowly. And whenever you're ready, we're simply gonna take it to the other side, this time bringing the right foot in toward the left inner thigh. Inhale, tall spine. As you exhale, begin to fold with that flat back first from the hips and then melt forward. Forehead is reaching towards the knee. Again, taking any micro adjustments here, figuring out how this pose will best serve you today. You may have your arms resting passively at the sides, maybe fingers interlaced underneath your knee or perhaps reaching around the foot or ankle. Scan through the body, taking inventory of how you're feeling again. And relax any tension you notice, allowing everything to be heavy here, surrendering to this moment. Finding intention in this presence. Allow any worries or thoughts to begin to fade away maybe imagining putting them in a box and on a shelf in your mind to come back to later. Taking control of the one thing that we really can control in our lives, which is choosing where to place our focus. Choosing to be intentional on living in the here and now instead of in the future or the past. We have just a little bit longer in this pose. As you exhale, begin to roll the spine up once again. Find your way into our single leg shoelace on this side. So this time our right leg is coming over the left, thinking about trying to align those knees as best you can. Take an inhale, finding that lengthened spine, sits bones grounded to the earth beneath you. As you exhale, Begin to fold from the hips. Once again, finding your own unique variation of this pose and however it best serves you. Inhaling deeply. Exhaling slowly. Surrendering as you melt heavier into the pose. We are largely targeting our hamstrings today, which is a part of our water element. The water element deals with our ability to have a basic trust in life. The characteristic of water is to flow with ease, moving around barriers and finding a new path when there's an obstacle in its way. Similarly in our lives, we experience many barriers, and oftentimes it's our own thoughts or emotions that become the barrier that we get hung up on. So in this practice of attuning to the moment, shifting our focus back to the here and now, we're able to move day to day with more grace and peace, with more clarity and insight as we learn to trust the natural ebb and flow and ride the currents of our lives that carry us from one season to the next. Awesome job when you are ready. Gently begin rolling the spine back up once again. And we're gonna go into our full shoelace pose on this side, simply bringing that bottom foot 
in toward the hip, being sure you aren't sitting on the feet. Take an inhale, lengthening through the spine before folding from the hips and settling in once again. Finding your variation, your pose for your body today. If your mind has begun to wander, just gently usher your attention back to the breath again, breathing through any discomfort, using your breath as a tool to help you manage the sensations, to help you let go and surrender deeper here. Inhale, feeling that belly expand. Noticing what's happening in your body. And exhale, let it go. Noticing those areas holding on still. Seeing if you can imagine that tension dissolving out of the body as you get heavier against your mat. Continue staying connected with that breath. We have just a little bit longer left in this pose. So I will leave you to enjoy the quiet stillness once again. Great job, when you are ready, gently roll the spine back up once more. Taking your time, and with as little movement as possible, find your way onto your back for a short rebound. Maybe gently tucking the shoulder blades down and back, palms facing up toward the sky, and simply feel the echo of the pose. Any changes that have begun to happen any gentle buzzing of energy through the body. Our rebounds not only allow our bodies the time for the fascia to come back slowly at its own pace, reducing risk of injury, but it also offers us a great opportunity to deepen our mindfulness practice, to take the time to notice what is happening to our body and our minds from one pose to the next or from the beginning to the end of our practice. When you're ready, go ahead and gently turn onto your left side and take your time as you meet me at the center of the map for our next pose, which is our dragonfly pose or wide-legged forward fold. So begin sitting with the legs spread as wide as you comfortably can while keeping the toes and knees pointing up toward the sky, not falling forward. And then we're going to inhale, lengthen through the spine. As you exhale, twist to the left and begin to fold over from the hips, over that left leg. Maybe arms again are resting on the ground passively or perhaps reaching for the heel or the ball of the foot. Take any micro adjustments you need, playing around with your pose to cater it to your own needs. Staying connected to that breath. And if at any point you want to try to find a new edge, imagine lifting that chest up and out and then down to get a more effective fold from the hips. We're going to be on each side for three minutes. 
Inhale, filling the belly. Exhale, allow thoughts to fade away. The mind bending like a river, noticing and simply maneuvering around any thoughts, emotions, to-dos that arise. Inhale, inviting a deeper peace and relaxation into the mind and into the body. Exhale, letting go, falling deeper into that state of surrender. We are about halfway through our time on this side. So once again, I'm going to leave you here to go inward, to listen to the wisdom of the body. Great job, on your next exhale, begin to walk the hands gently back to the center of the mat and then roll the spine up one vertebrae at a time. When you're ready, we're gonna take it to the other side. Again, simply inhaling as we lengthen through the spine, feeling those sits bones grounded. As you exhale, begin to twist to the right and then fold from the hips over that right leg. Again, finding the variation that works for you here, taking any micro adjustments you need. Relaxing the feet and the ankles, relaxing any resistance in the legs or the hips. Head and neck heavy. Resting deeply here. Once more, if you notice that your mind has begun to wander, simply bring your awareness back into the breath, coming back into this moment, staying attuned to the here and now.
You're doing great. Just about one more minute here on this side. Take one more inhale. As you exhale, once again, gently walk the hands back to the center and roll that spine up one vertebrae at a time. Find your way onto the back again for another rebound. Finding a neutral spine, just gently tucking the shoulder blades down and back, palms facing up toward the sky and feel the echo of the pose. All right, whenever you are ready, we're gonna take our last pose of the day, which is our hanging bridge pose. So for this pose, you'll need a prop, either a block or a bolster. If you don't have those, a folded blanket, a rolled pillow, something similar will do fine. So if you have a block, figure out which height best serves your body, what works best for you. And then we're going to place the prop or block, whatever you have, under the sacrum. The sacrum is that flat spot of where our low back meets the glutes. Once you have your prop in the right position, go ahead and extend the legs and maybe extend the arms overhead also. With this pose, we're getting a nice opening for our low back, but we're also getting some stretch through the front, it flexes our psoas area and through our torso. This is targeting our kidney meridian, which is another part of the water element. You can have the arms resting wherever feels best for you today. Personally, I prefer to do this pose with my arms overhead or extended to the sides making a T, as it's a great way to open up through the upper body, help with posture a little bit since we often sit with our shoulders rolled forward a bit. Find whatever works for you, how this pose feels best for your body today, and then settle into that stillness again. Feeling that belly rise with each inhale and noticing it fall with each exhale. Relaxing any tension or resistance in the hips or the back, maybe even in the shoulders. The quality of water is to flow with ease. She twists and turns, shifting to graciously avoid the obstacles in her seas, foaming a rage of powerful might or a gentle stream that quietly whispers at night. The earth makes demands, and to its shift she replies, without hesitation yielding with trust and gravity to carry her to where her next fate lies. One cannot survive her wrath, not without showing surrender and trusting in her natural path. But when faith trumps emotions, there is a spectacular occurrence, a divine grace beautifully displayed each time you're pulled into one of life's currents. One grasps desperately for control, anxiously defeated at the sight of his match, while another sees her gentle embrace back to a safe place, a ride he can catch. So facing fears and giving way to her pull, learning to ride the riptides of life is how we always get to where we need to go. All right, now in your own time, go ahead and bring the feet planted back to the mat, lifting the hips to so just gently remove the prop from underneath of you. 
and then maybe roll the spine back down one vertebrae at a time, finding your way into our Shavasana. One more time, feeling the echo of the pose, feeling any shifts that have occurred throughout this practice, mentally, physically, or emotionally. Enjoy these last few moments of stillness as your body speaks to you. Maybe gently scanning from head to toe one more time, noticing if you can find any area still holding on to any tension. And if you do, with your next exhale, imagine that tension melting out of the body. See if you can let go a little deeper getting heavier against the mat. If you're ready to finish with me today and begin bringing your awareness back to the body, maybe bring in some movement into the fingers and toes. And when you're ready, go ahead and turn onto your right side this time and meet me seated at the center of the mat for a final closing breath together. Taking a moment to simply ground ourselves, then inhale, reaching the arms overhead, waking the body back up. And exhale, hands to prayer at heart center, as you gently acknowledge yourself for taking the time to honor your mind and body in this way today. Thank you so much for choosing to join me for today's yin yoga practice. I hope this has you feeling great and ready to move on throughout your day with ease and grace. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to stay up to date with all of my latest classes. Thank you again for choosing to join me today, and I will see you soon, my friends. Namaste.